If you want to incorporate in Canada, you'll find that the process there is very similar to the process in the United States. There are two major differences. First, Canada has a federal corporation statute, so your business can choose to be either a provincial corporation or a Canadian corporation. Second, provincial corporation laws are relatively uniform, with the exception of Quebec. The main decision involves deciding on whether to incorporate as a federal or provincial corporation. There are pros and cons each way, whether you decide to incorporate federally or at the provincial level. The first is the corporate naming procedure. Just like in the U.S., the corporate name must be unique. For a provincial corporation, the corporate name must only be dissimilar to other corporate names within that particular province. Also, you can't use that corporate name in another province that has a similarly named corporation registered there. Federal incorporation allows you to use an approved corporate name anywhere in the country without any additional checks or approvals. However, the process takes longer. Another difference between federal and provincial corporations is the requirements of your board of directors. With a federal corporation, at least 25% of the board of directors must be Canadian residents. Provincial corporations, on the other hand, have different rules. Some provinces have no residency requirements, while others follow the federal standard of 25%. Another difference involves shareholder rights. Some of these differences include squeeze-out transactions, which are permitted under federal law, while some provinces have not established standards yet, and proxy solicitation, which is mandated for any corporation with more than 50 shareholders under federal law, while many provinces have no such mandate. These are the main issues facing Canadian incorporation, but there is also a notable legal and logistical complication. Quebec. Many potential corporations are discouraged from incorporating in Quebec due to its differences from the rest of the country. French is the official language and must be used in all official documents, while the province's legal system is based on civil law instead of the common law tradition of the rest of the country. Even when laws are similar, the differing legal systems create complicated, complicated procedural issues.